Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to deal with too many requests or how to um, deal with um, overloading the server. And um, in the earlier uh, screencast, um, I configured um, or reconfigured Porcupine, so over some, uh, overridden some defaults. What I can uh, would like to do right now is to misconfigure uh, Porcupine so it is easier to overload it. So um, what I will do I will set the max pool size to one and the Q capacity Q capacity also to one so it means there will be only one request because it gets overloaded and we can also uh, set up the core pool size to one and now it should be easy to overload Porcupine and what uh, we should do we should introduce a method here with some sleep uh, string we get message and this method should return this and I will just slightly change it so that we will see that something else happens here okay and uh, then I think I can directly set a reference to the method get message so perfect this is even more realistic because usually you will call here an EGB, CDI, bean or whatever. So uh, looks good. What I forgot is uh, sleeping, thread sleep. Mills, let's say uh, 500 should be enough. 500 milliseconds. Um, so now, and the question is what happens if the uh, queue fills up and uh, the one thread is not able to um, to um, to keep up and uh, what we have to do is we have to um, introduce a rejection handler so what happens in case of overloading porcupine sends you a notification that it is overloaded this is a default behavior it can be overridden but this is the default one and um, I would would like to introduce a class with the name overload listener and it's basically just an observer and the name of the method is um, let's say on overload it's a good one and add observes and rejection so we are observing the rejections and i would like to just output that so let's try it i would just like to redeploy it completely and then we will try to overload the server and um, so now it's resources parks so resources parks as you can see happened something and what you can also see uh, we get the output here so it noticed the overloading and it is written to the console with the statistics, which is actually nice. What we also should see here, I still overloaded. What you should see, it's still processing the results. We should see the uh, statistics, and in the statistics, we should see the rejected task 10. So what it means, we, uh, we uh, executed 10 uh, tasks, and 10 tasks were uh, rejected because of overloading. So, um, thank you for watching and see you so soon at AirHacks. Thank you. Bye.